Hey, this is Horner, and we're going to look at some connected object problems. This first one says you have a 5 kilogram object, so here's our 5 kilogram object. It's connected to a 10 kilogram object by a string, so there's your string. We have another string, and we're using that string to pull the 5 kilogram object with a force of 20 newtons. And because they're connected, they both should move together. So the system is this entire thing. So let's go ahead and circle our system so we know what it is. And they want to know what is the acceleration of the system. Uh, at this point, what we need to do is really break everything down into a couple of different objects. So let's call this one M2. For it, we'll also refer to it as box 2, and then this will be M1 or box 1. So for box 2, uh, let's go ahead and put a dot right here. And for box 1, we're going to put a dot right here. And let's show all the forces on each one of the boxes. So going to the right for this box is a force of tension. Uh, going back to the left is also a force of tension, and remember, Due to Newton's third law, both of these tensions should be the same. Then we have another force going this way, and that is the force of that pole, or that 20 Newtons, as it goes to the right. So let's think about all of the forces that are on this first box. So we're going to say that the sum of the forces for the first box should be equal to the mass of, well, it's really the second box here, the mass of the second box times its acceleration. And if we think about uh, the first box, which is number one here, we can say the sum of the forces are equal to the mass of the first box times its acceleration. So let's go ahead and set all this up and take a look at uh, really kind of what's going on here. For this box, we only have one thing that's doing anything to it, and that's pulling it to the right. So we're going to say here, very simply, that tension so just tension itself here, is equal to M2A. And that's all we have to do for that one. For box number one, it looks like we've got two things going in opposite directions. And so what we'll do is we need to say that this is the positive direction and it's accelerating in that direction. Um, and we'll start with the force, and we'll just say that the force, and then we can subtract the tension, is equal to M1A. Now the nice thing about this is because we know what tension is, it's M2A, we can actually plug it into this equation. So this is M1A. Um, and we're going to say that F, oops, kind of got a little bit something weird there. We can say F minus M2A is equal to M, oops, is equal to M1A. And my pen's not behaving very well. Um, and at this point, what we want to do is we want to try to get the A's on the same side. So to do that, we're going to say F is equal to M1A plus M2A. And now we can go ahead and pull out our A. So we're going to say F is equal to A times M1 plus M2, and from there, we'll just draw, wow, that's a really weird line. We'll draw a line up here, and we'll just say A is equal to the force over M1 plus M2. So really what we did is we wrote two equations, and from those two equations, we were able to make one equation here. And from that one equation, we were able to find the solution for the acceleration of the system. We know that our force is 20 newtons. We know that our first mass is 5, and our second mass is 10. So that'll be 20 divided by 15. And the answer we get for that is 1.3 meters per second squared. So that is our answer for uh, just this first part. And that's what they wanted us to find was what was the acceleration. The second thing that they asked is what is the tension in the string connecting the object? So I'll go ahead and do this one in red. It's really easy to see that we have a very simple equation for tension. And that simple equation for tension is T is equal to M2A. So let's go ahead and use that. We're going to say that tension 
is equal to the second mass times acceleration. Our second mass is 10 uh, kilograms, and the acceleration was what we just saw for. That's 1.3 meters per second squared, and so a kilogram times a meter per second squared will give us our force, or our tension, which is 13 newtons. And that is how you solve the very first problem, both parts A and part B. So we really just did B down on the bottom. That's just strange. Uh, we did B down on the bottom, and you can see it in red. Thanks.